Top of the morning to ya. It's me. It's I Hate Will, and today we are playing The Witcher 3. This is Geralt. He's a Witcher. And I am his Witch Master. Yes, that's something. Uh, today we are about to leave White Orchard. Because our time here is complete. We've defeated the nasty griffin. Showed him who is boss. Held him down. Made him eat his own boogers. And filled him with arrows. Uh, we're gonna meet up with Vesemir here and bounce out of here. Where he at? Hey man, drinking that vodka still? Hey, talk. Yennefer's in Vizima. Got a few friends there, so. Something wrong? Look around. Trouble brewing. Eh. Who are they? Patriots. Drinking their seventh round for Tamaria, fists starting to itch. Don't see any enough guardians. They'll find another foe. I'll buy some provisions for the journey, then we'll go. Geralt, we should stay out of it just this once. Well, that doesn't that doesn't make for a good video game. We should totally get into it. What happened to the lilies? Took them down. Took them down? To hang a golden sun there now? I cannot show Temerian colors. They'll come and burn the tavern down. Maybe it's true what they say. You fond of the Imperials? You Nilfgaard's whore? No. I'll let that pass. I know grief eats at your heart. You know shit! They hang my sister, dragged her out the cloister like a dog. Said Nilfgaard's no place for superstition. That they don't fear the wrath of the gods. And you, do you fear it? If not for Annie, your child would have choked on its navel string. You owe your son to Let my sister go. to the no. birth. And you don't oh. fear the gods' wrath. Ooh, this you is don't serious. fear it, you cunt! <laughs> oh! Oh, jeez! Let me be! Oh, it's on. It's on. Recognize this medallion? You know what it means. Back off. You alright? They say witches steal young'uns. That's true. What the Emperor promised you, freaks? Your own land? Like he did the elves once? Get out, all of you. We ain't going nowhere. And neither are you. Oh, you guys brought sticks to a sword now. fight. I can see that. Big friggin' mistake. Alright, I'm not very good at fighting. I'm a terrible witcher. But we're gonna do our best. We play on hard. Oh, I chopped something in half. Seem really extreme. It's all right. It's over. Leave me be. Get away. See his face. God save us. Be gone, and don't ever come back. <laughs> you, so yeah. much for not getting involved. Come on, let's go. For real, though, I go where I want. Alright, well... Now what? Brawl, we didn't start it. Excuses, excuses. You've not changed a bit. Mm -hmm. Yen? Yen? How? I received a report about a witcher who'd appeared in White Orchard. I knew it was you, looking for me. I might have waited until you found me, but... Oh, you know me. Patience has never been my strong suit. It's... Good to see you, Geralt. I... I'd even embrace you. 
Were you not covered in blood? Sorry. Wasn't expecting to see you. To be honest, this isn't at all how I imagined we'd meet. How did you imagine it? He didn't imagine you'd have a Nilfgaardian escort. Don't get me wrong, Yennefer. I'm glad to see you. But I do think you owe us an explanation. And I shall provide it. In Vizima. Ready your horses. Alright, let's go. We can talk here. Some charming orchards nearby. In bloom even, so you almost can't smell the corpses. A tempting proposition. Sadly, I must say no. You see, someone awaits you in Vizima. Someone who doesn't like to be kept waiting. Emperor Emir Var Emrys. Or, to those on more intimate terms with him, the white flame dancing on the graves of his foes. Doubt I number among that group. For as I remember, last time we saw each other, he wanted to kill me. Well, now he wishes to make you an offer. The kind one can't refuse? I didn't. Though I could have. Hmm. Must have been a damn good offer then. Not many things you'd give up your freedom for, and even fewer people. The sooner we set off, the sooner you'll find out. What about you? I'm going in the opposite direction. I somehow doubt the Emperor's invitation mentioned me. Besides, I've got things to do at Care Morhen, remember? Yeah, I remember. Thanks for your help, Fezimir. See you soon. How's your horse? Swift? Can't complain. Why do you ask? I'd like to be back behind some thick city walls as soon as possible. Yeah, we did stir up some shit. <laughs> so. Let's get out of here. Bye! Take care! Eyes on the road, don't you focus know, on her. I had a dream about you recently. Knowing you, it was probably filthy. Just the beginning. But then. But then. Uh. Oh snap, what's going on? being hunted. Oh, God. Magic him. Do it. Awesome. Jennifer, how big? We shall talk of this tomorrow, all right? After the audience. Okay. Well, getting cleaned up. Looking good. Looking sharp. Yeah. All right. This is this is something a guy can get used to. Mm-hmm. Hmm. It must suffice. Think of your cares if I'm clean. The gentleman will refer to his Imperial Majesty by his full title or not at all. The gentleman will be seated on the berger. The what now? In that chair. Mm, all right. Catwin, 
Please shave the gentleman's sideburns to half an inch. Uh, what's wrong with my beard? Always thought it added to my dignity. It does. Yet it also detracts from your elegance. In Nilfgaard, we consider beards hard on the eyes. Especially beards infested with lice. Been on the road a while. Fine. Do your thing. Tilt your head back, please. And sit still. Okay, and prepare well. to answer some questions. General, I, I am not certain this is the appropriate time. I can't think of a better time. Men turn honest when they feel a blade at their throat. Movran Voris, commander of the Alba Division. Before they take you in to see the Emperor, Witcher, there's some information I need you to verify. It's a formality. But one that must be seen to. Sure. Paperwork's gotta be in order. So, Geralt of Rivia. Place of birth, unknown. Parents, unknown. Age, unknown. All insignificant details. Let us proceed to more recent events. The siege of La Valette Castle. The fate of the defending commander, one Arian. Okay. All right. This is the part where I haven't played the previous Witchers, so uh, this is the part where I get to say, "Hey, this is what happened in the previous Witchers." Not unlike the beginning of Mass Effect Two. Um, let's see. I killed Aaron during the siege. It just happened that way. I spared his life. He escaped. I would probably have done this. Full test ordered me to clear the path. The boy stood in my way. Cutting down the Lavalette air. This made no impression on you. Uh, I suppose it wouldn't. What's some baron to an assassin of kings? Moving on. You then found shelter in Charming Flotsam, and from there made your way to Vergen. My question is how? Okay. I don't know what any of these are, so I'm going to go ahead and pick this. I left Flotsam with Jorvith. Commander of a square tell unit. A slayer of monsters and a slayer of men. You forge interesting alliances. Something tells me my most interesting is yet to come. Go on, next question, before my beard grows back in. We shall shave you again if it does. Very well. The infamous summit at Loch Muin. You were there. And once again meddled in the affairs of the mighty. Huh. Let's see. Let's go with this. Not at all. I meddled in a personal affair. Helped Yorvith lift the spell that held Saskia. Yes. And in doing so, gave Radovid a reason to begin his witch hunts. Congratulations. Nilfgaard recently started a war, unprovoked. So do us both a favor and stop moralizing. The gentleman must sit still. I'm almost done. I'm afraid I might find that difficult. Because, from what I know, shortly afterwards you watched a defective megascope blow your friend Sheila de Tanserville to bits. Um, let's go with this. I watched her get in the megascope, but ultimately freed her from the trap your man Letho of Gullet had set. Write that down. I want to be sure the paperwork's in order now. Well, national interest calls on one to forge difficult alliances at times. Alliances with witches included. Huh. Let's see. Let's go with this one. That an ongoing alliance? What's Letho up to? I had hoped you would answer that question. Ah. So Letho's hiding from you. Must have a good reason. Was there a shift in national interest that might have caused that? I don't know where he is. Wouldn't tell you if I did anyway. Blade or no blade to my throat. I believe that is all. 
Your signature, please, affirming you stated the whole truth and nothing but the truth on pain of imprisonment or death, etc., etc. Here, um, here. With these formalities seen to, I would ask the general to leave the room. We shall be choosing the gentleman's attire. An important matter, but one that does not require the general's assistance. Shame. I might have given you some advice. So long, Geralt. Good luck with your audience. Okay, we look pretty good without a beard, man. Looking sharp. Alright. Looks like we get to pick out some clothes. Very cool. Feels more like I'm being readied for a wedding. Were that so, I would have prepared the gentleman a frock, a tailcoat, or possibly a dinner jacket. In point of fact, the gentleman will choose from these garments. Okay, any color as long as it's black. I like wearing black. Black, black, or black. We do not like garish colors in Nilfgaard. The gentleman will tell me once he has chosen an outfit. Okay, let's take a look at it, huh? Let's see. That's, uh... Eek. Don't like the stripes, bro. Maybe. I think I like this one because it's the most black. Let me look at it. From behind? Okay. Yeah. Why do I want, like, a hip thingy? I don't want that. Let's pick this. Um. That. What does this one look like? We'll take that. We gotta mix it up a little bit. And we'll take that. Sure. Okay, we're good. This might come as news to the gentleman. But the towel wrapped around one's waist is not fitting attire for an audience. Fine. Jerk. Gentlemen. Yeah. 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 All right. Looking good. Dress. We are, well, we look like we're wearing pajamas. But hey, what's up? Hmm. A touch tight in the waist. But it will do. Does the outfit satisfy the gentleman? A studded doublet and a sword on my back. That's what would satisfy me. But tough. When in Nilfgaard. Yes. It's a saying. So what now? Powder my nose? No need. The gentleman's complexion is light enough. The gentleman is to stand before the ruler of the North and South. I must confirm that he knows how to bow. Mayhaps you confirm away. Confirm away. Please watch. Leg extended. Hand flat. Head down. Chin to chest. The gentleman will rehearse. Ah, that seems bad on my knees, my back, and my hips. Ooh, I wasn't paying attention. Um, see, right hand on chest. Hmm, lacking fluidity and grace. But we've learned to expect less of Nordlings. Come with me. Okay. I remembered how he did it. The gentleman will address the Emperor only when asked to, and using the appropriate title. Your Arch Magnificency. I see the gentleman is in the mood for jests. I fear the stealing. Emperor might not share his disposition. Your I'm Majesty stealing. Advice, spoken loudly, clearly, and with respect. Alright. Uh, ooh, let's steal this. Ain't nobody gonna stop me. Put your candles out. Now let's get out of here. Shut up! Speak English. All right. Uh, let's see. Where are you going, man? Where are you going? In 
Grimmy et Art Kerzer. Dyfen Aden in Karn eb Marvut. Emir var Emreis. Bow. Ew. Uh, Bow, go ahead. When in Rome. Your Imperial Majesty. Arer ep do orde. Avelian nomen, vat gun favort. We have kept that pretty lady. Pretty lady! You bowed before no man. Didn't want to disappoint the Chamberlain. We're friends. Take it you didn't summon me to reminisce about the good old days, so... Silence. My daughter, Cyrilla. She's returned. And she's in danger. The wild hunt pursues her. You will find her and bring her to me. All right. Sure. Are you sure? Siri left, went far, far away. Do you believe I drag you here in the middle of a war to discuss a rumor? I think anyone can be wrong, even an emperor. I had forgotten how insolent you can be. I haven't the time to convince you, nor the desire, in fact. Yanifu will do that after the audience. All right. Fine. Are you sure? Siri left. Oh, I'm sorry. I already did this already. Let's, any... let's skip ahead. I have forgotten. I haven't the. All right. Why me? How many men in your army? 20,000? 30? So why me? You know why. Because she trusts you. She trusts me. Yes. So tell me why you're looking for her. Doubt it's about making up for all those lost years. For reasons of state, as always. Enough of this banter. You will agree regardless. If for no other reason than because I shall pay you. More than you customarily receive for a contract. Considerably more. Oh, all right. Save your generosity for those whose homes your armies have raised. I'll do it for Siri, not for your gold. Your motives do not interest me. Only results. Yennefer will tell you the rest. I still want gold. This audience is finished. Meredith! I'd still like to get paid, though. Take him to the sorceress. Well, All right. if the gentleman pleases, please keep close. There are many honorable guests in the palace whom the gentleman disgusts. Need not bother. All right. Well, that's really on them, not me, man. Don't make you guys feel gross. Yeah, back off. I'm gonna go in here. I do what I want. I'm Herevard the second, Prince of Elan. Yo! Not only am I make a wait here like some gentleman with a gun. Ooh, hey, hey lady. Africa, please stay with Hi. Me. Hi, what's your name? I like your hat. You're cute. What's up? You wanna you wanna hang out? Calm down. Alright. Emperor demands shine. Fine. What are you guys working on? Why are you doing that? Alright, well, fine. What's going on over here? Got some nice witch statues. Got a guy with the stupid hat. What's this? Uh, what's this hood for, man? You know women wear it dressed like friggin' clowns. Alrighty. Oh, hey! Hey, talk to me. What's up? What is this? What is your deal? Mind if I interrupt? Why not join in instead? We're discussing neutrality. How difficult it is to preserve. Oh. Know a thing or two about that. Care to explain? Never changes. I try to stay out of things, stand aside. Then comes an urgent summons. 
And an offer I can't refuse. Enough about that. Mind if we change the subject? Sh sure. So, talk to the Emperor. Hmm. Why did he summon you? So not even you know. No. But I wager it's an ordinary witch's contract. Mm-hmm. Some weirbubs. <laughs> Later, losers. See ya. Soon, mind you. Ah, Alright, yeah, back off. Hey, what's in here? Belongs to me now. I'm just straight up stealing from these dudes. Alright, Chamberlain. Don't wave at me like that. Oh, this place is beautiful. Hey, look at this. Hey, look at that lady over there. Let's go talk to her. Ladies. Ladies. We've no need for the gentleman's escort. Yeah, okay, fine. He's not into me. Dude, I can set you on fire with my hands. Talk to me like that. Once the gentleman is done, he should see me to retrieve his possessions. Well, you know, we haven't seen each other for a while, man. It might take me a bit of time. You know what I'm saying? I got years of makeup, man. This is my girl. This is Yennefer. Don't you know? She's insatiable. Hey, who's this dude? Yes. Then transcribe. The true authority oh, in Novigrad is not the city council or the merchant's guild, but the church of the eternal fire and the criminal underworld. At times it is difficult to tell the one from the other. Yeah. They both display a similar ruthlessness and cynicism. Okay, well, please while you're doing that, ah. while you're doing that, I'm you gonna steal. I'll write the report myself. You'll need only prepare a clean book. All right, loot. Oh. I'm gonna steal all your stuff. What else you got, fool? Hmm? What is this, bookcase? That book's mine now. What about this? Mine. Let's take this. I'll take that apple. Fantastic. Yummy, yummy, yummy. Okay, where's Yennefer? A shame I have no time. All right, girl. Geralt, that tunic. You look positively smashing. Ugh, dying to take it off. I'd consider that a proposition under different circumstances. One I might even take you up on. But we've matters to attend to. Now do you understand why I'm at Amir's court? Mm-hmm. And seems we're in the same boat now. Siri, she's really back? No chance he's mistaken. Look, that's more or less what she looks like now. Or so our agents claim. Our little witch has grown into a young lady. Hmm. How about that? She's grown up. It's been years since you trained together at Kaer Morn. A great deal has changed. You haven't. Not a bit. I missed those awkward compliments of yours. But let's focus on Siri, all right? Right. Amir said the wild hunts after her. I'd find that hard to believe before what happened yesterday. How did they track us down? Because of me. You see, I've spent months searching for Siri, using locating spells, haruspicy, geomancy, anything, really. I knew the Wild Hunt might sense it, perhaps even find me, but I thought I'd tricked them. Well, guess you were wrong. Hmm. I've sensed them on my trail, hunting me, for some time. If not for you and Amir's soldiers, they'd have gotten what they were after. I can't risk another encounter like that. It's time to put away the magic, turn to more traditional methods. To the best tracker I know. You must find her, Geralt. Before the Wild Hunt does. 
The Wild Hunt. What could it want from Ciri? I've no clue, Geralt. Might have written them to ask, but I don't have their address. I know as much as you do. It must be about her blood. Her gift. As for what the Hunt wishes to do with that gift, I... I prefer not to think about it, really. So the Ciri, where is she? So where has Ciri been seen, exactly? In two places. Velen and Novigrad. The trail in Velen is most promising. You should make that your first stop. Ask for a merchant named Hendrik at the inn at the crossroads. One of the Emperor's agents. He should get in touch with you. That's it? No passwords? Secret handshakes? None. Sorry to spoil your fun. Your boyhood fantasies about the crafts of the trade. All we have in Novigrad are unconformed reports, rumors. But there you will have the help of our mutual acquaintance. Triss Merigold. Apparently she's got a cozy flat on the main square. Sure she'll be delighted to see me. What about you? What will you do? I shall sail for Skellige. There was a magic explosion there recently, blew half a forest down. I believe this had something to do with Ciri. I'll be in care trolled. Join me there once you've learned something. Uh, okay. How about this? One thing before we go. Why didn't you contact me? Didn't need me? Didn't even want to see me? I didn't want to spoil things. I'd heard you and Triss made a great couple. Yen, I'd lost my memory. Really? That's your excuse? Let's drop it, alright? It's not what you think, or it helped me understand how much I love you. I don't wish to hear it. Any of it. Okay, well, I guess that's it. You know, I mean, we were on a break. I couldn't remember. There's lots of reasons why I would do something like that. Have a tryst with Triss. Guess this means we need to split up again. Not my preference, but I understand. Clock's ticking. It is indeed. So why don't I teleport you to Velen, get you there at once? Not gonna happen. I'll go on horseback, as soon as I can get changed. Have it your way? Oh, and... You really look quite dashing in black velvet. Think so? Maybe I can have some of my armor lined with it. <laughs> Good luck, Yen. Same to you. And if you wish to learn what's happened in the world while you and Vesemir roam the wilderness, talk to Ambassador Vartra. That's him over there. And Geralt, I know it's wartime, but try not to be a hero, all right? Just check those leads and come back to me, in one piece. I shall be waiting. Alright, cool, 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 cool. Alright, that was a very, very heavy plot episode. Looks like we just got caught. Whoa! I wanna go. I wanna go. I wanna go. Oh, I will take that, though. Very heavy on the plot, very heavy on the dialogue. Not a lot of action besides that dude whose head I cut off. But uh, that's going to have to do it for today's episode, man. Hope you enjoyed. Hopefully things pick up for the next one. But maybe, just maybe, you enjoy this plot stuff as much as I. For now, this is Will. I am signing off. Take care of yourself. And I'll see you next time.